Alex, it's Isabel, and welcome to another video. Today, we are in a different room because the lighting is total crap in my other room, so I had to move to this one, which you've never seen before. It's like a living room slash computer room. Today, I have a Owl Crate unboxing for you. I am ridiculously excited for this box. It has not one, but two books in it, and I'm just so excited for that. Like, oh my god, I've been just dying for this book for so long. I've just been waiting for it to come and it finally came today so now it's finally time to unbox it so let's just do it so we open it Ooh. and there's like barely any of those worm papers things so like you know this is full to the brim but the first thing we have here is the spoil card which I'm not looking at the spoilers this month is fight like a girl theme and this is actually so freaking gorgeous it kind of makes me think of like brave with like the Scottish princess and I'm just like so here for this card like it is so freaking gorgeous and what the hell is this? What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a hanging poster. Okay. Let's see what this poster looks like. Why can't I get this open? <laughs> um, this is definitely child proof because I am clearly a child. Oh, this is broken here. Oh, well, that works. Let's just rip that. Ooh, that is freaking neat. I really like it. I really, really do. Remember you are a wolf and you cannot be caged. So that is really freaking gorgeous. Like I really love the design, like the wolf and then the trees that are around it and then the stars and everything. Obviously this represents women. Women cannot be caged just like wolves can. So we feel it goes without saying that one of the toughest female heroines in all of YA is none other than Feyre from A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. We partnered up with the talented Evie Bookish to create this exclusive wall hanging in celebration of this resilient character. The one thing we do know we get this month is the bath bomb. That is what we were boiled for in the last box. Look at that freaking design. Like that design is gorgeous. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> in Children of Blood and Bone. I'm just reading Children of Blood and Bone. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this is a Children of Blood and Bone bath bomb. So in Children of Blood and Bone, Zeely is thrust into an epic and harrowing journey to save her people. Whipped up wonderful created this beautiful and exclusive bath bomb inspired by Zeely's powerful magic. And the smell is gorgeous. And then we also got spoiled for a enamel pin. So it says when in doubt go to the library. That is so adorable. So it is created by Out of Print. So you don't need weapons to be a fighter. Be like Hermione. I knew it was gonna be Hermione. Be like Hermione and use your quick thinking in times of trouble. And of course, when in doubt, go to the library. We hope you love this exclusive enamel pin from our friends at Out of Print. <gasps> it has a tassel! Oh my god, I love this. Okay, if I am marching to my death, then I will march to it as a girl without fear. You are strong, fear, capable beyond measure. I am like so excited this has a tassel. Like, oh my god, I don't have a bookmark that has a tassel, so I'm like oh, so here for this. This is very, very exciting. I love it. Indigo 11 designed this exclusive double-sided tassel bookmark inspired by both The Wrath and the Dawn and Flame and the Mist by master storyteller Renee Adia. Sorry, I completely butchered that name. We absolutely love the mix of feminine and fierce. I do too. I do too. We have the Owl Crate spoiler card on this pin. So that's really gorgeous. And then we also have another pin. That's also gorgeous. That is freaking gorgeous. Alright, so the first book in the Owl Crate is Catching Stars by Kayla Hennen. Jayan Ijad is in hiding a witch with powerful abilities. She carves out a life for herself in the slums of Paval, a city rotting from the inside out. When an old acquaintance tracks her down, Jayan is dragged back into a world she tried to escape and is determined to escape again. Maddox Kell is on the run. After two years in prison for crimes he did not commit, Maddox escapes and seeks out a legend legendary order of witch hunters, who are his only chance to find justice. But all is not as it seems, and Maddox soon finds himself on the run from the people he sought as allies. When their paths collide, Jayan and Maddox must put aside their prejudices and forge an uneasy alliance that could crumble at any moment. But if they want to survive in Aestos, a brutal kingdom where magic and corruption lie hand in hand and enemies lurk around every corner, they must first survive each other. Interesting. I never heard of this one before. 
It sounds like it has magic in it and like two kind of sides come together. So it kind of reminds me of Children of Blood and Bone. So I'm really excited for that. And then we also have a illustration thing. When curating a box about awesome ladies, we couldn't forget about the wraith. Artist Melanie Burpussy illustrated the stunning excessive art print inspired by Inaj from Six of Crows. Now let's get into the book, which is what I wanted. Yay! This is what I wanted. So I'm really excited this is the one that was in there. Let's just look naked. It has breathe fire there. That's cool. So I know this one, it has Vikings and stuff in it. I'm not I'm not gonna read too far in this. I wanna go into this more blind than anything. So part Wonder Woman, part Vikings, and all heart. Raised to be a warrior, 17 year old Eileen fights alongside her ass clansman in an ancient rivalry against the Ricky clan. Her life is brutal but simple. Fight and survive until the day she sees the impossible on the battlefield. Her brother fighting with the enemy, the brother she watched die five years ago. That's all I'm saying about this one. It sounds freaking amazing and I'm so excited for this and the cover is just freaking gorgeous. Her face kind of being silhouetted but you're only seeing one eye and then like the axe. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. And then it's signed right And we have the letter from the author and then we have the newsletter okay so they didn't change too much for the cover which I'm actually really happy with because I was like I hope they don't change it too much because I really love this cover and to be honest I kind of do like the original better so the original you can see the color is more yellow and then the exclusive one is more grayish which I kind of like the yellow one better just because it stands out more but you know what that's fine I still love the cover it is gorgeous. I love it. And to be honest, when I looked at it, I was like, I don't really see anything different. So it wasn't like too big of a change for me that I would not like it. It's just, I do prefer the other one just because it stands out more, but that is totally fine. Then there's the interview with author Adrian Young, and then a little bit of information on Whipped Up Wonder, who created the bath bomb. And then it's the photo challenge that happens every month. And then next week. So next week, next month, June theme is summer loving so inside this box we will receive an exclusive item from riddles tea shop so we got some tea in this one time to soak up the sun and read by the pool our June box is perfect for celebrating the beginning of summer or if you live somewhere that's experiencing winter this box will bring you some warm relief which I'm in summer so I'm so pumped for this our book Pick is a super fun story about a girl who dreams of being a groundbreaking filmmaker. She gets into all sorts of shenanigans when creating a short film for a summer film festival. There will be exciting high quality items inspired by Since You've Been Gone, Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe and more. There will also be a yummy exclusive item from Riddle's Tea Shop. Don't miss this box, it's sure to brighten up your reading adventures. I already suspect what this book is going to be and I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna buy it myself, but since it's gonna be an owl crate and I'll get all the other goodies, I'm gonna just wait for the owl crate. So yeah, that is all the things. Probably my favorite thing would honestly have to be the wall hangy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up. Let me know down below what was your favorite thing in this month's box. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Check out my other social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. I make a video every Monday and Thursday, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!